Let me give a quick overview on the on the spreadsheet. I'll, I'm just going to open the spreadsheet. Just give me a second. Um, that's the one. That's the one. Um, okay. Um, there's a uh, seven student, like I told you in the email. Um, the first thing you want to do is go to the to the first uh, sheet at the very top. This one, two, three, four, five, six, seven student, and then the, there's the summary sheet, and then you can change the the name of the sheet itself. Let's say put on my name, like Mansour, and then you can change the name of the student right here. And I can. So and it will once you change this, it will change the, on the entire spreadsheet. It will ch you will you see that this one has changed to my name as well as in the summary. You can see there and there as well. So you don't have to change put the name everywhere. Just the name of the student can only be you can place it. Just you can put it in in the main uh, student sheet. Then uh, once you've done that. Um, the same thing with the, the mark, you just have to do it in here. Let's say I'll put, um, if I put 10 here, it will um, it will appear in there as well. See that? So it will change automatically. You don't have to go into the summary. The summary is, uh, is automatically linked to, the, to each of the student sh sheet. And, um, uh, the class attendance you have to mark it though. Just so when you mark it, it will add up at the end. So this 15 days. This is just uh, uh, this is just in a sample. You, we can change the date later on, uh, how many days and the, and the actual date itself. So um, that's basically it. Um, everything is linked. This 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 section, the summary, like I said. The class overview you don't have to do you don't have to change the name will be is linked automatically to the main sheet so that's um, that's it